interesting thing this game has, being able to play in either PC Engine mode or Arcade mode. We'll be going in PC Engine mode, though. Here's our plot. Or whatever plot we get within the, the game itself. We can move, we can slash, we can jump really damn high. Oh, I wanted to kill that ninja. The the different colored ones have power-ups, including enhancing our weapon. That's a good one to have. Now we've got a shadow clone, and we're going to want all the shadow clones we can get. Yeah, so the it's a pretty simple walk so far, not too hard or anything. It will get a bit tougher later, I'm sure. No grenades were a super useful one, although I prefer the sword for stage one. Grenades will be the de facto weapon, though, in like every other stage, basically. Well, that's a bomb. Also, a good thing that the blade does, blocking bullets. This might come as a surprise, being able to block bullets is really fucking useful. And now the boss! It's Ashura! Again. Being able to block bullets fucking trivializes this fight. I'm just holding up and mashing swing. And down goes Ashura. Stage 2. Now's the point where we're going to want to swap over to grenades and start using those frequently. Also want to get them powered up. Also, shoot grenades really fast with the turbo button. Not that that's a huge need. The game's honestly like I I'm thinking of Turbo Graphics games in my mind, and like I don't I haven't played a whole lot of them yet, so I have a pretty limited knowledge of Turbo Graphics games. Um, I'd like to say it's still, like, a decent knowledge, all things considered. Uh, but this is one of the easier Turbo Graphics games I think I've played. And thus, one of the easier ones to recommend to somebody. Is, in addition to that, it's also just, in general, a fun game. If a bit short. Alright, where's the boss? There's the boss. Went. Just had to wait long enough for you to have a hitbox. Yeah, grenades just chopped through your health. Stage three. This problem is the length and the last stage. Yeah, the last stage is a bit of an RNG fest until you start to figure out, like, the safe places to stand. It's, like, the only stage, though, I would say is, like, badly designed. Every other stage, I think, is pretty reasonable in its design. Part of that's also because I'm basically walking through here with a bunch of Shadow Clones. Turns out that makes things a little bit on the easier side. Although I do need to watch my, uh, watch my health. I see, I see that I am running a bit low on that. It's like a Fire Shield, though. 
Hopefully it'll keep me afloat for long enough. Well, long enough to reach the boss, at least. Behold a ninja! It's dead. We're already on to stage four. Just kind of a testament to just how short this game is. This is this is a seven stage game, just as a reminder. We're already on stage four. Granted, there are things that can really mess with you. Like, there are enemies that have instant kill attacks. Like, I think those change that these randomly appearing ninjas have, I believe, are instant kill, for example. You gotta be really careful to not get hit by them. This is also just an eight stage, because you're, you're pretty much flipping between the, the uh... The top of the screen and the bottom. And that's the whole gimmick. Which is always fun. Now we should be on to... Yeah, this part with the, uh... Wall that's trying to crush you. Which is... Very easy to avoid getting crushed by, just as long as you keep running, and don't stop running. Yeah, there. Easy. Now we just gotta beat the boss! I Man, I'm pretty sure I've seen this sort of boss design before. Where it just goes along the walls. I think I see it's something like even like Blaster Master. Stage five. Stage five is a little more unique. So this time around, when we played this for RBC, I think at least a few of us kept walking to the right, thinking like, yeah, that's what we have to do in every other stage. Why wouldn't we have to do it in this stage? No, you what you actually need to do is you gotta keep climbing up. Until you find the boss. Ninja must climb the wall. It's also not a uh, super long stage either. Can't really speak for the difficulty considering I'm on my last HP. Alright, we're at the top. And now more ninjas! That was a good boss fight. Find the wall that Fred painted. Yeah, there, Gautoon. Alright, stage six. Already at the penultimate stage, and we've been on this game for... How long? Like, ten minutes at most? Maybe I will actually have time to, uh, attempt the, uh, other Turbo Graphics game I had in mind for this. It's a tempting idea at the rate I'm going with this, I won't lie to you. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna commit to that, because I might end up having to delay RBC by a little bit in the event I actually get on a run in that game. And we'll figure out when we finish this game and see how much time we got left. Oh, I think I'm gonna die in here. It's looking not great. Yeah, damn it. But still, that's only our first death. Built up a pretty good supply of lives, too. Just a shadow clone. <laughs> you can't, you became a spirit ninja, yeah. Oh yeah, that that I think is one of the insta kill attacks. Seems like one of those stages where switching over to the sword may not be the worst idea. Because of the amount of projectiles that's coming towards me, so thus having a uh, having something that, you know, blocks projectiles might not be a bad thing. Checkpointing is also generally like Pretty generous. 
There we go. Upgrade grenades. Now we're back in business. And we got all of our ninjas following us again. Any, mo any more? Oh, there's another one coming my way. Alright, we're at the boss now. This is, this game is also fun for, uh, for anyone who's seen Game Center CX. Uh, this is like one of the shortest playthroughs they did, where they beat the game in like two hours, and they did it. They dedicated a whole day to the game, and <laughs> they they were like, "Do we have enough footage for this?" <laughs> Me and the boys at 3 a.m. looking for leftovers. Yeah, exactly. All right, this boss is super easy with with power ups. Just keep jumping as each one shows up. And then shoot down. Okay. On to the final stage. Welcome to this place with all the all the the uh puffs of smoke. Right. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Hi Terravan. How were your DOS adventures today? I think we're doing DOS anyway. Yeah, so this checkpoint here. I think I have the right general idea of where I wanna go. But all those ninjas! Fucking insta-kill sons of guns. I th but I think we found that st that if you just kind of float around here, you can avoid getting insta-killed by them. And the final boss is dead! We beat it! We did it! We beat a game! Flashing coming up in a quick second here, so look away if you're sensitive to that. And some pretty nasty flashing, too. Alright, flashing's done if you were looking away. I guess it's just gonna become a reoccurring thing with some of these Turbo Graphics games, because Keith Carriage had some flashing, Sonar Assault had some flashing at the end. Anyway, Ninja Spirit, good game. Highly recommend. If you're gonna try any Turbo Graphics game, uh, you could do a hell of a whole lot worse than Ninja Spirit. Now you're off for Christmas, you can love some spicier titles. Ooh. Get to the real bottom of the barrel of stuff, the real interesting stuff. I wish I could see what all these enemies are called, but it's all in, like, it's all in Japanese. The desperate fight of Suki Kage came to an end. The screen's gone. Who needs to read it anyway? Oh yeah, this is an Irem game too, and Irem usually does pretty good with their games. And that's Ninja Spirit! <laughs> 